Hello everyone, long time no see. Have you ever noticed that when you export a Procreate painting to Photoshop, the color sometimes will become very different? For example, this is a painting that I did in Procreate. On the left, it's a JPEG export that I opened again in Photoshop. It has only one layer, and actually everything is fine. It looks exactly the same as in Procreate, but sometimes I want to have all the layers, so I export the Procreate file as PSD. I have all the layers, but look at the colors. The background is totally different from the JPEG version. The rim light on the face has also lost all its vibrancy in color. This problem has bothered me for a really long time. I have been mostly painting in Procreate since I got my iPad Pro, but sometimes I still want to do some post-processing in Photoshop, or sometimes I need to send the painting to my students who don't use Procreate. But this problem turns out to have a very simple solution. Let's get to the point. It turns out that whenever you paint a layer in Procreate with the layer blending mode add, which is translated to linear dodge in Photoshop, that layer will be composed a little bit differently in Photoshop. Let's look at this layer. This is the light coming from the lightsaber. The color here is very different as in Procreate. To fix this problem, let me double click on the layer and in advanced blending, unhack the checkbox transparency shapes layer. Voila, now it looks exactly the same as in Procreate. So let me repeat this process for the other layers. This layer is the bounce light from the ground. Double click, uncheck this option. And now it looks exactly the same as the JPEG version again. This layer SSS, this is the so-called subsurface scattering. You can see the effect on her right ear. I use the layer blending mode hard light for this layer. And this is actually not affected by this option, so let me just leave it as it is. This layer is a satisfying rim light on the face. As many of you know, I love rim lighting. This is also an add layer, so let me change the option. Cool, now get back all the colors. This layer is a multiply layer, where I make the overall character greener and darker. This layer is also not affected by this option, so I leave it as it is. This layer is the light coming from above. It's an add layer. Let me change the option. You see that it doesn't make a big difference on the hair, but it does make some difference on the clothes. So let me change this option. And now we have the specular reflection, which is also an important part of my rendering technique. Let's change it to. Okay. And this one is the ambient occlusion, which means the shadows from the ambient light. This is a multiply layer, so we can leave it. And this is the diffuse shadow from the main light source. It's also a multiply layer. Whenever I paint shadows, I use multiply. Whenever I paint light, I use add. Using add and multiply is the essential technique that I use for my rendering. If you want to know more about that, check out my Instagram. I have posted many layer for layer breakdowns of my artworks, including this one. This layer color variation is just a simple normal layer, so we can leave it there. The bottom layer flat color is also a simple normal layer. It's a local color of the object without any shading. So now we're done. The PSD export looks exactly the same. Oh wait, I forgot the background. This layer, the light in the background, was also painted with add. If I turn it on and off, you can see the effect. I need to change that too. Okay. I think the PSD export is finally identical to the JPEG export, which is also how I originally painted it in Procreate. Oh no, I forgot one more layer, the lightsaber itself. It's also an add layer, so let me change it. You see, look how different it is. Look how ugly it was before the change. All right. I also need to mention that I found this solution in the Procreate forum posted by this guy here. He doesn't have any information in his profile. All credits go to the Procreate user Burn. I don't know who you are, but thank you. You've saved my day. I hope the video is also useful for you. I'll make more videos on painting. See you next time.